Hi and welcome back to the channel. So today I am having a look at Ashlight, which is the third VST in the Light trilogy. Um, there was Streetlight was the first one, and Farlight, and now Ashlight, and that is it. That's the three of them that they are going to um, do. Yeah, so Ashlight is the third of the Light trilogy, and it is the kind of darker uh, of the three, as it were, in far as as far as kind of tones and sounds are concerned. So it says dark textures, deep tones, dive into an underworld of immersive atmospheres, pulsating bass textures and evocative keys. Easily increase intensity and expression with the uh, macro controls, or go deeper into sound design in Ashlight's engine. So yeah, so it 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 obviously follows the same idea as the other two. So you have a a grain sample and a sound sample and that uh, you can uh, kind of bind both of these and you can obviously use the XY pad um, as well to kind of shape the sound uh, and then you've got things like ARP, you've got effects and then global uh, controls as well. I have done um, a full kind of uh, video on Farlight showing how, how that works um, so you might want to watch that as well. So Ashlight sound is a board and uh, rod metals, carbon, ceramics, glass, and more. Ashlight is a product of obsessive research into unconventional sound sources. So it's kind of similar to um, some of the sounds that they've used in Playbox, if you've watched that video. And I'm probably going to try and do a track using a Streetlight, Farlight, Ashlight, and Playbox, because I think that would sound pretty good. So layered grain sources, including water phones, <laughs> water phones, uh, symbols, uh, feedback cycles, and sounds count among over 360 sample sets in Ashlight's library. Um, and it also comes with 300 presets. Um, so you've got the grain module. So this is um, the streamlined granular engine scans across Ashlight's specialized source material to create other world organic tones. And then you've got the sample module on this side. So you've got choirs, synths, noise, percussion, pulses, and much more can be blended in to provide patches with attack or ambience play at some of the audio demos. So as you can hear it is geared towards kind of cinematic and uh, kind of sound design. And it does sound quite simple. So all of the lights in this So you've got you've got things like keys as well and, and strings. So yeah, um, yeah. So that is Ashlight, and as you can see. Uh, it is on sale for £89.50 during the Summer of Sound, so you've got until the July the 6th. Or, if you don't have any of these, you can get the Light Trilogy for 180 So basically, you're buying, uh, you're getting three for the price of two. Um, and uh, if you haven't got any of them, then that is probably a pretty good deal, because uh, Alex said Farlight uh, is absolutely superb. So that's an intro to Ashlight, and then I'm going to open it up, Complete Control, and we'll have a look at, in a bit more detail. So here we are in complete control and I've got Ashlight loaded um, and as you can see there is quite a lot of presets 
um, and uh, they are split up into banks and I will just uh, run through them on my keyboard. I've got a browser. So banks, there is atmospheres. So there's 112 atmospheres. There's 60 keying, 21 effects, uh, 24 keys, uh, 12 MPE, uh, 31 pads, 97 pulses, uh, 24 sequences, uh, 17 swells, and 54 transitions. And then there's uh, two inits, an init for the MPE and a straightforward init in it as well. So that is all the banks. Uh, so there's, what did it say, about 300 presets in total. Um, and I have uh, kind of favorited quite a few of the atmospheres and pads and a few of the pulses. And I'm gonna go through those later on in the video. Uh, this is the first preset, Abandoned Quarry, and it is uh, one of the best ones, I think, that I've uh, come across. Uh, so that like said, you've got your grain on this side, you've got your sample on this side, and this is your perform section. The X, Y um, is the first two. So this controls, uh, first one controls the X, and then the second one controls the Y. Um, and then the last four control, in this case, the cutoff, the drive, the delay, and the reverb. Uh, and then you can go in to the, the grain section, uh, and then you've got your grain there, so you can adjust all these controls. You've got the interval size, fade out, fade in, uh, range, tune, amp, envelope, and then all these delays and reverbs and down there. And then you have another little um, version of the XY, and then you've got the macros and the modulation as well. So, um, and then you've got your sample side. Uh, then uh, you've got an ARP, so filter, filter ADSR and amp ADSR. And then again, you've got send effects and macros and modulation down here as well. And then you've got the effects. Um, so you've got uh, effects for grain, effects for sample. And in this case, you've got drive EQ, drive EQ down here. Uh, and then you can just select uh, if you wanted to put in, uh, say, delay, gator, whatever. You just click on that and you can adjust it from there. Um, so that's it. Very, very similar to... Um, straight light, far light. Um, so like I said, if you want to watch a more in-depth video, uh, you can watch my far light one and I will leave a link in the description. And then you've got the basic global um, XY controller and uh, low pass, high pass cutoff there for the master effects. And then you've got a, a volume for your grain and a volume for your sample. And as you can see, if I play a... So you can see the volume is going up there. So if you want a bit more grain or a bit more sample, you can adjust it there. Uh, and like I said, you can uh, adjust the, the Y and the X with either the first two knobs or the mod wheel and the light strip. Um, so there, so that is your kind of basic controls. And then if you want to go in and uh, that is the preset, so you can obviously fine tune this by origin, pitch, style, character, and then that is, and obviously favorite that as well. So I could uh, favorite the distorted overtone swell in this one. Uh, and uh, uh, like I said, you can just scroll through these so we could, you know, filter it out. Um, and you can do the same obviously on the sample side as well. So that's your sample sources. Uh, and then you've got, like I said, type, pitch, origin style as well. Um, and like I said, this one is using, uh, this uh, preset is using the WOA drone uh, for the sample. So I'm gonna go through some of my favorite presets uh, and we'll start off with some pads. Back in the dry. 
wave uh, on the X, Y. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. When you uh, use the mod wheel, you get this um, kind of light that comes in there, which is very, very nice. So that is uh, six months later. Um, right, so the first atmosphere is autumn fog.
Uh, right, we'll have a look at some of the pulses. is a danger zone. And uh, last but not least, uh, Panic Driver. That is uh, some presents from Ashlight. Like I said, uh, let's you can get this 50% uh, off at the moment, or you can get the Light Trilogy uh, for 180, which is getting all three. So this is uh, 90 pound on its own. Uh, well, they're all 90 pound on its own, uh, and you get all three for 180. So depending if you have uh, either Firelight Australia already, uh, if you don't, then that would be the best one to do, or get uh, either Complete 14 Ultimate or Collector's Edition. Uh, as well they are all available there uh, so that's it for today uh, i hope you enjoyed that and if you did please like subscribe uh, share and comment uh, and i will see you uh, next week bye for now <laughs>